guys and welcome back to my channel um this is <laughs> i mean i know by the title you guys are like first of all why does your thumbnail look like you're just like overjoyed to be laid off but i just wanted to make a quick video obviously about the title obviously about what you guys can kind of tell that i'm about to go into but honestly just give you my raw thoughts it happened today so if you want to know what just happened and how I've been affected by COVID-19, uh, please keep watching. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video really just talking about me getting laid off. So I did get laid off and I know like it's coming off very like, like did you even like your job? But um, I feel like of course this is the time to be sad and this is the time that everyone's really discouraged, especially if you have been laid off due to COVID, then you know, you know how it feels. Um, it was a shock I didn't you know think it was um, gonna happen but yeah so I got laid off today my entire uh, department got laid off um, basically they fired every single person like a whole bunch of people from every department and kept like the head person of each department on basically is what they did and yeah and so that resulted in a whole bunch of people being laid off um, and of course there's a mix of emotions that comes with that knowing I mean I just did a video the other day where I was like day in the life and I kind of showed you guys what I did but you know they kind of explained that the company wasn't at a good place to continue um, paying everyone so they let us go and of course when I found out it was a mix of emotions I mean as soon as I found out I bawled out crying I'm not trying to come off as like everything is fine and dandy I did ball out crying I did the classic why are you letting this happen to me god um feeling it's funny because I think this is like this is the time it's actually it's good Friday I'm filming on good Friday it happened to me on good Friday hmm and I feel like isn't this the moment where Jesus called out to God like why have you forsaken me how weird is that I cried and I had my moment yeah, I prayed today, um, just kind of around everything happened, the time everything happened, and I cried again, and when I was crying and praying, it was just an instant thought, and I just had to share for anyone that's, not even if you're, you know, you've been laid off, but if you're just going through any impact, anything that's impacted you, if you've lost someone during this time, however you've been in impacted throughout this time, I did want to just give you kind of like the share with you what I felt like I heard today during my time in prayer which was I did say like you know I'm I was like Lord you know I speak out loud when I pray so I was basically like what's making this really hard for me is that I'm anxious and I don't know what's going to happen next and the thing that I heard like right when I thought that was I know the plans that I have for you right you don't know obviously because you didn't know this was going to happen but at the end of the day you're also the same person like I didn't I'm anxious because of the future in a bad way and it's like I just felt him saying two things one you don't know what's gonna happen so although you not knowing the future makes you anxious it should make you like anxious in a good way like yeah you don't know what the future holds like how amazing that you don't know what the future holds like why does it have to be I don't know what the future holds so I'm automatically nervous and sad and panicking if you are truly a believer and you believe in a higher power then you would think oh awesome like I don't know what the future holds like that means my future is really great and so that's when I heard him say like I know the plans that I have for you and their plans to prosper you and not harm you and that's exactly what came into my mind and I broke down crying because I really felt like he was telling me that at that moment like it'll be okay I know the plans that I have for you you don't and that's why you're feeling this way but since it's in my hands why worry and if you know that they're not gonna harm you and these plans are not gonna harm you and they're only gonna prosper you then why worry it was like at the end of the day why worry I had issues I was dealing with in November and then all of a sudden something happened in December and it like quadrupled what I was dealing with in November so automatically the the thing I was fighting with and, and feeling like this was the worst thing was now like the thing in December like trumped that and like so okay so that was one thing so I was like oh so in December I was like man I kind of just wish I was back in November and I wish November's problem was something that I just dealt with and now December's problem was bad and so then December's problem I've been dealing with up until yesterday and now yes now yesterday like 
and I don't even know if it like trumps that but it's definitely like oh my god like a, a whole nother thing that I have to deal with I think all in all what it's really just showing me is like you need to figure out when you want to when you want to be thankful for whatever you're going through pick a time <laughs> pick a struggle but then own that struggle because if you don't what's going to happen is that you're just going to keep having things happen to you and they're going to be worse than the month before and you're just going to wish that you only had the problem from the month before and that's what i've been noticing and i was like you know what i think the whole point of life it just like hit me i was like I think the whole point of life is just to own your struggle, own it and show like I'm going to own this and I'm going to this is my struggle and I'm thankful for my struggle. And I know you're like, why would I ever be thankful for my struggle? But I feel like the way that you react, someone was texting me this when I got laid off and they basically said the way that you react now determines your outcome. So the way that I react to this problem is going to determine how I get blessed from it and also I just reminded me of the book of Job where he was put through all these tests but the interesting thing is when I usually go through problems I'm like Lord why are you doing this to me it was that book that made me realize that it's God gives like the enemy permission to tempt you and to try you and to put you through trouble because he knows that you're going to be the one to prove the enemy wrong about how faithful you are even in times like this so it's like you're basically like if you're going through trouble be thankful because he's basically chosen you to prove to the devil like ha huh, even through all this she still trusts me so just wanted to leave you guys with something I am actually I'm in a good mood I'm really um positive I'm uh really hopeful for what's to come and I wanted to share with you guys that your outcome and your your attitude during whatever time you're going through you have a choice to react in a positive way you don't have to take every blow and you know just sit there and dwell in it you have the choice the ability and the option to make this a really good time in your life and now I have the time to brush up on things that I've maybe lacked in or now I have the time to put out content so you're gonna be getting a whole bunch of videos from me but I have so much more time now for myself and that's what I'm gonna focus on and I of course I understand if it's like your bills are piling up and you're like no like I need money of course I understand that but even with all of that there's a there's a passage that basically says like like Basically, you don't need to worry about what you're going to eat tomorrow. You don't need to worry about the clothes on your back because I handle that. What you need to focus on is me. So, of course, you're always, every video, anytime it has to do with problems, I go to my faith because I just don't understand how, especially during a pandemic, especially during a pandemic, like, we're now seeing so many things that were so strong be crumbled so easily. And how could you not have faith during this time? So that's just all I wanted to say. And I'm wishing you guys all the best. Prayers to you guys. I'm hoping you're staying safe, sound, and healthy. And that's what really matters at the end of the day. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.